Yes, uh, I mean, dark energy is mysterious, but it's uh, certainly there, and I think it's there for a reason. Um, the universe is extremely large. Um, it's also very dark. I mean, not totally dark. It's also not e infinitely large, uh, and it's also not infinitely empty. Indeed, there's something there. I mean, if we look at the observed accelerated expansion of the universe, it indicates that space is filled with something, and that's the dark energy that we're discussing. Uh, I will explain the relationship between dark energy and the, and the expansion a little later. Um, so I, I, I truly believe, by the way, it exists. It's not something that's not there, but it's not uh, described in the correct way. Our current theory, which is based on general relativity, is namely incomplete. And that's my, my uh, main, main point I want to make. In Einstein's gravity, uh, we think about space-time basically as having no properties. It's like a, a stage on which matter moves uh, under the influence of forces. But I think there are reasons, both from the observations as well as from theory, to really challenge that point of view, that space-time is empty or made of nothing. Uh, first of all, there is indeed the fact that 95% uh, of the energy budget is in these mysterious forms, which is either dark matter or dark energy. But also we have insights uh, from string theory, from black hole physics, that tell us that space-time and gravity eventually will uh, emerge, I mean, it comes about from something microscopic in which these, these, these uh, phenomena have no, no real meaning. Uh, so dark energy and dark matter constitute this 95% of the energy budget. I mean, the stars that we see is less than 1%. And if we look at our current laws of physics, we only describe uh, what's being observed. And what we observed are the stars and maybe the radiation from the Big Bang, but that's only a very tiny fraction of all of the energy in our universe. Now, in physics, we generally ignore uh, what uh, is happening in the microscopic level, like the air in this room. Uh, we don't generally care about all the microscopic molecules, how they are moving, we just forget this. And this is how we make our laws of physics and also in our everyday life. We talk about things that move like the cars and so on, but not the air and, the, and, and in there. The same is true for space-time. And our current theories are ignoring most of the things that are moving in our uh, universe. So I claim that dark energy is actually the thing that we've not described well enough and that there's a microscopic theory that should eventually explain what's happening in, in, uh, in dark energy. So. Um, I told you I was going to talk about uh, the relationship between expansion and dark energy. The fact that the universe expands means that things are moving away from us and m with higher velocities when we are further away. And eventually there will be a distance where uh, things are moving away with the speed of light. And there's nothing we can see beyond that. And this is what we call the horizon of our universe. So there is a finite distance and you can think about it as a, a giant dome around us where we can not f look beyond. That's, as I said, called the horizon. And uh, there are horizons, other locations where there are horizons in, in our universe, which have to do with black holes. And one of the big discoveries we have made in physics is that horizons have very special properties. And this is a discovery due to Stephen Hawking. Uh, a horizon tells us namely about how much, um, for a black hole, how much information eventually went into the black hole. It also tells us something that there must be a temperature associated with a black hole. And the same is true with our universe. The universe has a lot of information in there, uh, which is the size of our uh, cosmological horizon. And it's that information eventually that we have not been able to describe yet. We've been ignoring it, but it's contained in the dark energy. Uh, the dark energy tells us actually that uh, our, our universe is not um, just empty, but it's being filled with something that uh, we still have to learn how to describe. Uh, so I think we're not uh, there yet with our th uh, theorist point of view. We don't know, understand everything yet. But I think we live in an exciting time where we're going to change the way we think about gravity, about space-time, and we're going to change even the way that Einstein uh, well described gravity with his uh, theory of curved space-time by thinking about, indeed, what is the microscopic uh, building blocks of the space-time uh, itself. Not sure I'm, I'm doing on time. I maybe even during the discussion I can say a little more. But I'm sure, yeah, we'll have time. All right. So my my point of view is that indeed we don't have the final theory yet, and that when we have it, I think dark energy will be the most exciting thing that's happening there. And there's lots of equations we haven't discovered about it yet, but it's certainly an indication of uh, the fact that we don't have the complete theory. Yet.